We're back now with Heather Bordelon, and she's got the, yeah, the, excuse me, the details on the exciting event coming to town. Tell me what's happening. So our Veterans Day event is something that we started last year and hoping to continue it to be an annual event. It allows our 4-H members to have an opportunity to focus on service and also share their appreciation for our veterans or currently serving military members in our community. Absolutely. And you said it got started about a year ago. What prompted it? So um, between conversation between my uh, co-worker and I, we were looking for a service opportunity for our kids to give back to our community. And we thought, what better than to offer a pancake breakfast for our veterans that obviously fight for our freedoms that we have here and then a lot of these veterans are family members that are near and dear to our 4-H members so this service opportunity is super meaningful for them. And these are 4-H members coming from where? From all across the parish um, so any of our schools that currently have a 4-H club um, these kids have been notified of the Veterans Day activity and the uh, workshop that we have next week and they can register for free with the QR code that they have been given in their our weekly newsletter and via emails and they can invite loved ones or neighbors to come and have pancakes with us and then they can tell them thank you for their service. Absolutely and you kind of ended that with where I was going you know <laughs> thank you for your service and I've noticed um, you know covering veterans events over the years they're very humble people they never want a lot of credit kind of talk about the response that the veterans have when they come to the pancake breakfast. So our veterans they are very they're very quiet as they come in I'm just very observant of the the kids that are working really hard to prepare the pancakes and sausage and other things that we have for breakfast and it almost it's, it's a very hard felt thanks um, meant a few words for sure Absolutely. but a deep thank you and sincere thank you is definitely given from them and it's really important for our kids to be able to see that this is something that should be something that they could look forward to in the future to give back at a larger level even if it's just starting at a small community level they can see the impact can be larger than just locally well said and so it's a pancake breakfast kind of what else is happening that morning so our kids are arriving at 8 to prepare all the yummy things that they'll be eating of course um, some of our kids haven't had an opportunity to spend time in the kitchen so it's a really cool activity for them to be able to to get their hands dirty and to create those pancakes and cook sausage and of course they will be supervised for some of our junior leaders who also get to give back in that way of service for supervising our younger kids um, we will have fruit that's cut up um, all the fixings syrup butter and all those things and then we'll set up a buffet type style and our veterans will come in um, we'll have their pictures that have been submitted so we'll have a slideshow going on and then our members will serve the food that they have prepared for them. Awesome. I think it's so awesome too that 4-H, you know, you think of 4-H, you think of animals, you think of things like that, but this is going so far beyond that. Absolutely. So we do spend a lot of focus and emphasis on service because we, we want people to know that. Of course, those are our building blocks of the program, but we offer so much more and I've shared that with so many people. We offer robotics and cooking and leadership opportunities on so much more than just a, a local level they I mean they can serve as, as a capacity a state and regional too. Absolutely and we're about out of time but what are the specifics when where what time? So this is going to occur on Veterans Day of course um, at the mega shelter right past LSUA. Our members who have registered for free um, will um, come, come in at 8 o'clock and start preparing those things and then our veterans that have been invited will show up at 10 and we will go ahead and start serving them their brunch at that time. Thanks Heather. Thank you. Yeah, And we'll be back right after this break.